Your love is fading. Fade, 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 fade. I feel it fade. Fade, 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 fade. Ah, your love is fading. Fade, 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 fade. I feel it fade. Fade, 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 fade. Ah, your love is fading. Fade, 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 fade. Woman, I feel it fade. fade, 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 fade. Well guys, welcome back to Fat Daddy for Fun. This is Wolf and uh, thanks for joining me for another video. You guys are going to trip when you see how easy this one is. Uh, this is my Thunder Chop casserole, okay? There's a package of pork chops, some rice, a couple of cans of soup, uh, salt and pepper to taste, throw it in the oven for an hour and dude, you have got an awesome meal. Uh, really, man, I, and I like pork chops and everything, but I have traded my pork chops for my son's rice. I mean, that's how good the rice is. I just love this stuff. I'll show you how easy it is to make, man. One cup of rice. That's all you need. Okay, and we're going to do another cream of mushroom soup. Just dump that right in there. Now, ladies, you know, they'll... They'll uh, mix it in another bowl and pour it in here. Ah, my oven's ready. The ladies will mix that in another bowl and pour it in here, but you know, what the heck. It's all going in the oven. So, I'll just mix it in the casserole pan. Now, this here is cream of mushroom. I mean, this here is French onion soup. The first one was cream of mushroom. This is Campbell's French onion soup. And man... It smells good as soon as you take it out of, out of the can. I mean, it's it's awesome stuff. But you just kind of mix this around until you get it all nice and folded in there. Yeah, baby. This is going to be really good. And there's nothing to, like I said, making it. It's so easy. It's, it almost makes you feel guilty. Not really. But you'll dig it, man, if you try it. I'm telling you, it's, uh, like I said, there is nothing to this. Okay. See how easy that is, man? Just mix it in. Fold it all in together. Kind of, you know, move your rice around. So it's all kind of uniform. You know, you don't have too much rice in one spot. Just kind of do that. Get all over the lens. You guys tell me. Right. Then, what I like to do is I like to put just a little bit of salt over that rice. And then you take your pork chops, and just kind of lay them in there till they cover everything. Oh, yeah. These are those big bone in chops. You don't really want them to sink in there. You just kind of want to do like that. Do like that. Let's see, we'll move this around a little bit. Do like that. Nothing to it. All right, let me wash my hands here. I'm getting hungry already just looking at that, man. Now, what the trick to this is, is you let it cook for an hour, or uh, 50 minutes, 5-0, 50 minutes covered, okay? And then the last 10 minutes, you just kind of stick your hand in the oven and peel that foil off, and, it's, and you know, take it out and let it sit. Now, I'm going to shake a little more salt on here, you know? Season to taste, guys. Just season to taste. Whatever you like. Here's some pepper. Yeah, a little pepper on there. And then, take your lemon foil. And just cover that bad boy up real good. Until it's suitable for the oven. You know?
And there you go. 350 for 50 minutes. Reach in there, peel that foil off, and then brown those chops for the last 10 minutes. Pull it out, and it's really ready to eat, but I like to let mine, you know, settle for about 10 minutes. All right. Stand by. We'll be back. Boys, that looks done. Yeah, baby. Awesome. Awesome. That's all there is to it. I wish you guys could smell this because it is off the chain. I'm telling you, it is. I wish you guys could smell this. It, this is so easy. It's almost stupid it's so easy. I'm not, I'm not even sure it deserves a video because, you know, I could send it to you on a posting note. Really. That's how easy it is. You're crazy if you don't try this. You know, it takes no prep at all. You dump it in a pan, stir it up, lay your chops on there, cover it, throw it in the oven, and an hour later you're done. You know what I mean? It takes an hour to cook. The last 10 minutes, peel foil off just so you can brown your chops. And that's what you got right there in front of you, man. A delicious meal for three or four people. Awesome stuff. Hey guys, man, you know, you just, you just let it rest for a little while, you know, 10, 5, 10 minutes, and uh, this stuff right here, that's what is just incredible, I, I mean, it's, it's unreal how good this rice is. And there you go. Trust me guys, try it. You won't be disappointed, man. Wolf endorses this, and I'm telling you, you're going to love it. Check it out. I'm out. It's a good thing I don't have three or four people here, because somebody would have to fight for their place. No doubt about it. Good stuff. You know, it takes no prep at all. You dump it in a pan, stir it up, lay your chops on there, cover it, throw it in the oven, and an hour later, you're done. You know what I mean? 